From industrial to recreational to medicinal use, the marijuana plant has been a staple of many cultures for a long time in history. But due to a combination of social and cultural factors, countries started to criminalize this green plant. Despite its relatively lower risk when compared to other legal highs and its clear medicinal properties. However, science has advanced into the study of these cannabinoids, giving rise to a wave of popularity for THC's, albeit less wavy and more socially acceptable little brother. CBD, of course, or cannabidiol. Try saying that twice. Although marketing has done what it's done best and has overhyped what CBD can actually do, it's not quite a snake oil. In fact, it's far from that with some real positive applications. But what uses of CBD could be specifically beneficial to autistic people? Welcome to my Autiverse, I'm Thomas Henley and today we are speaking on the usage, usage of marijuana's CBD by autistic individuals, focusing primarily on lived experience rather than just science, to theorycraft the potential positives to this interesting herby molecule. Personally, I have used CBD in its various different forms, from flour to oils to capsules to vapes, so I've got a lot of personal experience with its effects. However, I am not a doctor or a psychologist, so please make sure to consult on the contents of this video with a medical professional and don't make any choices which could land you in trouble with the law. And although CBD seems like a health supplement, in fact, that's kind of how it's been sold. You see it in places like Holland and Barrett in the UK. The compounds in this plant have real testable, scientifically backed active effects on a widespread of networks of, of nerves in your body called the endocannabinoid system. They have potential issues with misuse, real side effects, and may have a various amount of different interactions with other medical drugs, recreational substances, and of course mental health disorders. So let's speak briefly on the active compound CBD in marijuana to give a reference point to what we are talking about today. CBD is of course THC's more socially acceptable little brother, although will likely receive questioning looks by the elderly when you explain where it comes from. It interplays with THC alongside these volatile, smelly, oily liquids called terpenes, which can work together to produce different varied effects. And of course, smells that I think a lot of us have smelt at some point in our life. CBD does have a whole bunch of health effects without the psychoactive high-like effects that you get with THC. Then there is the mix of terpenes, as I mentioned before, and types of CBD and THC, because it's not all just one molecule, there are different types of both of these two molecules, and this leads to the classification of different strains that you may find. It's important to highlight that currently in the UK, companies are mandated to have THC in very, very low amounts in their CBD products. However, this isn't the best for really achieving the full effect as both THC and CBD interact to produce what is called the entourage effect, each enhancing the effectiveness of each other. Well, now that we've touched on some of the basics of CBD, let's have a look at some potential positives which may be and have been quite useful to autistic people. Number one, the biggest one that I'm sure many people are aware of when speaking about CBD, and that is anxiety. The biggest and most impactful aspect of CBD for autistic people as well must be the anxiety reduction. Autism has a huge overlap with generalized anxiety and a higher rate of different sort of subtypes of anxiety-like disorders. PTSD is something that often comes with a lot of anxiety too, and when used in conjunction with therapy, it has been shown to be fairly promising. I've been on a plethora of different pharmaceutical anti-anxiety medications in my time, and CBD does feel a little bit different to what I've been used to. With enough dosage, I find that it calms my brain down a little, stops me from ruminating or thinking as much as I usually would. It's sort of akin to sort of a light meditative state-like feeling. And it helps a lot with the general anxiety, but not necessarily the panic attacks in my experience. CBD can be particularly helpful for social anxiety, 
And I can imagine it could help people feel more relaxed, especially during intimate encounters. The issue with CBD is that it does react with a lot of different medications like antidepressants. So being aware of that is very important, but we are going to touch on that in the negative section. Insomnia. Sleep issues are very tied to autism as with many things. And sleep has a big impact on the severity of depressive disorders, like a really, 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 really big impact. But unlike THC, it hasn't been shown to impact rapid eye movement or REM sleep and promotes going through all the needed stages of sweet, of sweet, sleep, bleh, sweet. <laughs> Socializing, yes, quite a core aspect of the autistic diagnosis. One of the more personal benefits that I've found with CBD is in its ability to replace alcohol in social settings. Whilst it doesn't give you that dopamine buzz that a lot of people like about alcohol, it does do a pretty good job of reducing my social paranoia and generally chilling me out a bit. I just find that alcohol tends to lead to a lot of dissociation for me, that sort of out of body experience, and makes it quite hard for me to monitor my own mental state and therefore take breaks, take care of myself, leading to meltdowns, shutdowns, or at least some kind of pre-meltdown state. CBD just tends to make me a little sleepy if I take too much. The biggest drain on my social battery comes from overthinking and analysing too much, and CBD definitely helps reduce that a ton. Epilepsy. Yes. <clears throat> One of the more concerning co-occurring conditions with autism is epilepsy, with more autistic people being diagnosed with this than our neurotypical counterparts. CBD can indeed prevent some types of seizures, some types of seizures. In fact, UK scientists have developed a sort of pure CBD extract that they called Epidiolex. I probably put the, the name of it on the screen or something because it's, it's a little bit hard to say. And this can be prescribed to patients as an add-on to other medications. Sensory processing. I think this is a real big one. Autistic people tend to have different sensory experiences, with some senses becoming more or less sensitive than average. Our actual sensory organs aren't exactly more sensitive or better at perceiving things. It's what our brain does with that information when it receives those sort of neuronal signals, those electricity signals, hence the sensory processing aspect of it. We don't all have bat hearing and superhuman sight. I think if we did, we would be enrolled in some kind of military experiment. But maybe that's already happening, and I'm recruiting you to be a part of the new trial. <laughs> Unlike the self-reports on THC, I found that CBD can actually make high sensory environments a lot more tolerable. I'll still use my supports when I can, but sometimes they make it hard to hear what people are saying in social situations, especially when I got these earbuds in. For those times when I need to take my earbuds out, CBD just takes a little bit of the edge off the noisy environments. Being autistic holds a higher potential for addiction than the average population perhaps due to the burden of negative life experiences, anxiety, depression, and some other mental health conditions, or perhaps even related to alexithymia, that difficulty noticing and categorizing your own emotions. If it's harder for you to notice the effects of more healthier but subtle anxiety-reducing techniques, you may not take them as seriously. You may not see that there is any effect and therefore stop doing them. Reaching out to more extreme and consistent methods like substances, drugs. They have shown that particularly with opioid addiction, CBD can help reduce cue-induced cravings, withdrawals, resting heart rate and cortisol levels. Although studies are particularly limited, as with many things in this video. <laughs> Executive function and transitions. One of the more difficult things for me to manage as an autistic adult is my executive dysfunction. Yes, executive dysfunction makes it harder to manage yourself in your day-to-day -day tasks, making it difficult to juggle multiple little tasks that you need to do, organize them in your brain, 
figure out how long things are going to take you, more or less just making flowing through your day just a little bit harder than average. Likely due to our monotropic mind pulling us into this state of autistic inertia, we can find ourselves often glued to something for hours, struggling to stop once we have started. I found that CBD, although making me feel a little bit more lethargic, it can reduce a lot of the anxiety that I feel moving from one task to another, and a lot of the general anxiety that tends to hold me back from functioning during the day. It reduces my tendency to overthink and to worry, letting me sort of tick things off my list without getting too distracted by the thought of doing the next task on my list. Very subjective and personal of course, but sometimes it really helps me on these high anxiety days. <clears throat> There are of course a lot of other potential positives to CBD use, we're not covering everything today in this video, and I've seen a lot of stuff around CBD use in perhaps higher support needs individuals, reducing outward aggression, self-interest behaviours, sort of aiding their concentration and perhaps even facilitating socialisation. But I think a lot of this stuff can be explained by a few of the points that we've addressed today. Make sure to check out the other two previous videos where we dove into the positives and negatives of THC, through the lived experience lens of course, and consider subscribing to get updated on my final CBD video where we dive into the potential negatives specifically for autistic people. My streaming channel is up and running so if you want to go catch the new stream clips you can find the link down in the description. If you do love what I do, if you do love what I do, you can support me for as little as £1 through memberships, it really does help me out a ton. And remember that I am not a doctor or a professional or a psychologist, I'm just a dude on YouTube. And you shouldn't take these videos as encouragement to try or do anything. Always consult your local laws and doctor on anything which is medical related. But cheers to being the coolest autistic introvert in the extroverted neurotypical social environment. Yeah, bro, I'm on that CBD shit. That real shit. It's dope, bro. Gets your lip. I got it from my hippie grandma this Christmas. Been dropping those drops, you get me? Yeah.